Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and they had to send it several times. Uh, and here's why they couldn't send it. First of all, it's 37 inches tall and 48 inches wide, or vice versa, 48 inches what, tall. It's got 3,900 objects. 3,900 objects. So, and you know, like here's some objects right there, just trash. So I would kind of do this, make sure there's no objects in there. I'm going to go in there and grab what we want and move it out of the way. There are, that's 3,200 objects right there. But this is 700 or almost 700 we don't need. Now, a lot of times when you move stuff around, you can see floating objects. I do not see any more, so I think we're good to go. And on this case, I would always hit the F4 key. And then that way you know that there should not be any objects left. I'm going to go ahead and create a yellow box. I don't know that I'm going to be able to help with this logo. There are some people that could probably do it for a not a very much no, vector. It is a vector. It is a DXF, but it's, it's garbage. Now, I say that, and I apologize for saying that, because it might have been intentionally made like this. And you can't just turn it black. There's two things you could do, well, that I know of. It's a hairline. Make it something other than a hairline and engrave it just like it is. That'll engrave. But, you know, you'll need to get with the customer. So let's go back to a hairline. Anyway, get rid of our yellow box. And you could take the Smart Fill tool and fill in. And hopefully there's no leaks. And there is no leak on that letter. You could Smart Fill it all in. But then you just need to figure out what you're going to fill in. Are you going to fill out the inside or the outside? You know, let's make a rectangle so in case we have a leak, take the Smart Fill tool. Are you going to fill in that? Or are you going to fill in that and engrave it? You know, that wouldn't look too bad. In, and then it, even if you made the outline thicker so that it would engrave too. The problem is this half crescent moon is full, full of little things. So I'm not going to be able to help them so much, but I am going to take part of this and just see if this is going to fill. Yeah, I do this in case it leaks. I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool. And instead of filling in every one of those individual dots, you're doing that and you're making a roll basically a relief of what's not going to engrave. Now, that might not be what they want. I have no clue. But on this particular case, I don't really think I'm, I'm going to be much help um, as far as that. And if you did this whole, make sure you put a rectangle around the whole thing if you're going to do that whole bottom layer. It is a cool design. And since it is so big, I can't imagine them engraving it. And I don't, I need to, I get so many emails a day, I can't keep track of what they're even going to want to do with it. Um, it's almost so big, I would think it's going to be plasma cut it out. But that's only because it's um, well, that's only 16 inches, so it might be engraved. But you'd have to go through there and individually fill in these, every text, you know, once you find out what they want, I would just go from there. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.